Hello everyone, so welcome back to our channel Test Prep Card. We are back again with another interesting topic. And topic for today's discussion is NITs versus BITS versus VIT. We'll compare all these three engineering institutions on some basic criteria like important exams, eligibility, number of colleges and seats available, courses offered, NRI quota and placement. Before comparing these institutions, let us just brief ourselves about them. Let us start with NITs. NIT stand for National Institute of Technology and these are of national importance as they receive recognition from the Government of India. Moreover, they are totally funded by the Ministry of Human Resource Development. There are total 31 NITs in India with NIT Trichy being number one. Then talking about BITS, Birla Institute of Technology and Science is one of the premier engineering colleges in India. Though it is a private deemed to be university, but its position in NIRF 2020 rankings was 30th. Some aspirants even leave their seats of NITs and IITs to get admission in BITS. So you can just imagine the standards set by this institution. It attracts a number of students all across the world. It is four campuses which are located in Pillani, Goa, Hyderabad and Dubai. Now talking about WIT, Willore Institute of Technology. It is also a private deemed to be university but it is also one of the most prestigious non-government engineering colleges in India. VIT also has four campuses Bhopal, Willore, Amravati and Chennai. Now let's talk about getting into these engineering institutions. Obviously getting into these institutions it's not a cakewalk. It's an elusive task. For NITs one has to appear in JEE main exam and then they secure their seats in any of the NITs according to their All India rank. Though there is no age limit for appearing in JEE means but an aspirant only gets total of three attempts to pass this exam. In addition to this, the aspirant must have secured 75% marks in 12th standard with PCM as compulsory subjects or be in the 20 percentile in 12th board exams. This percentage is dropped to 65% for candidates from SC and ST categories. Whereas for admission in BITS, the candidate has to appear in BITS SAD, BITS Admission Test, which is an All India Online Entrance Exam and the admission is purely based on marks obtained by the candidate in BITS SAT exam. But the eligibility for this exam is different from that of NITs. This exam is conducted for the students who have passed their 12th exam with an aggregate of 75% and also 60% in each subject of physics, chemistry, biology or maths. One interesting fact over here is that a candidate can also get a direct admission here if they have obtained rank 1 in a particular central board or you can say the state toppers. For VIT, the candidate has to clear VIT EEE -E, that is VIT Engineering Entrance Examination. For appearing in this exam, the candidate should have an aggregate of 60% in science stream and this aggregate is dropped to 50% for candidates from SCST category and also students from Jammu and Kashmir and North East states. If we compare among the three exams of NITs, BITS and VIT, then the exam of VIT is a bit easier as compared to the other two but still you have to do equal amount of hard work for all these three exams. Now let's move forward towards our other comparisons. NITs offer courses like BTEC, BSc, dual degree of BTEC and MTEC, dual degree of BSc and MSc, bachelors of architecture, MSc, MTech and MBA for PG courses and there are a total of 17,967 seats in all 31 NITs for UG courses. 
which also offers a number of courses like BE Honours, B Farm Honours, MSc Honours, MC in Technology. You can also just see the other courses that are offered by BITS Pelani in different campuses. BITS have total number of 800 seats in Pelani. Goa and Hyderabad has 600 seats each. The number of seats which are limited in BITS make the examinations for BITS entrances more competitive and difficult. Coming to VIT, it offers 54 UG courses, 34 PG courses, 12 integrated courses and 2 each of research and MTech industrial courses like BTech, MSc, BSc Honours, MTech, MBA, BBA, PhD etc. Approximately there are 12,000 seats for UG courses in VIT with around 5,000 in Vellore, 2,000 in Chennai, 500 in Amravati and 400 in Bhopal. The growing prestige of these institutions attract a lot of NRI students. So let us discuss about the quota and admissions of NRI students in BITS, NITs and VITs. Though there is a difference between the admission process for NRI students in all these three institutions. Let us discuss about them briefly one by one. So every NIT has a certain quota for NRI children. This quota is known as DASA or CIWG but no such quota is available in BITS and VIT for NRI students. In NITs, the NRI student can get admission either by giving the JEE mains exam. In this exam, the NRI students have to compete with other students of Indian origin. Or the other option is by giving the DASA scheme exams of SAT and SAT subject test. In BITS, if uh, you are an NRI student, then you have just two options. That is of either sitting in BITSAT or giving the SAT or SAT subject test. In VIT, the NRI students are only offered with one option and that is same as the students of Indian origin. They have to give the VIT triple E exams. So for more details on the admissions of NRI students, you can also download our NRI ebook related to DASA and CIWG quota from the link given below. So finally, when you have secured your seat in your dream institution or in your favorite institution and once you have completed your course, a lot of new opportunities open for you. So. These new opportunities come in forms of new placements or jobs. So obviously it's become important for us to discuss about the placements that are offered by these three institutions. Though all these three institutions are approached by top companies of India like Facebook or Apple, Amazon or you can say Flipkart, Wipro. So there is no difference in companies, all the three institutes get top companies of the country or you can say of the world. But there is a difference in the average package of these three institutions. The average package in top NITs usually ranges from 10 to 15 lakh per annum. The average package in BITS is 6 to 8 lakh per annum and in VIT it is 7.25 lakh per annum. WIT has also made Limca book records for placing highest number of students in IT sector for seven consecutive years. Oh my god, this is a big achievement for VIT. So there is just a difference in packages you can see but if you are a bright student and you have done well in your college life, you have got good score, then by your hard work, you can definitely achieve your dream offer, be it in any institute. So it all depends on your caliber that which job you are able to get. So that's it for today. Uh, if you have any doubts related to any topic, then do comment below or you can connect us with the link which is provided in the description. And yes, do tell me which is your dream institute where you want to complete your engineering in the comment box. And till that time, all the best. Take care of yourself. Bye.